Hello, this is your host, Not Ven, and welcome to Not the Monk Spotlight. Hello, fellow compatriots, this is Chu Chen here, and with all silliness aside, I introduce to you the whole of creation. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Jungle Cyclic by Arc Charger. If you want to check out any of his work, be sure to check out his Insta in the description down below. Now with that out of the way, we'll be talking about four aspects of this mock, which tends to be universally and unspokenly known within the community, but I will stay in here for any new builders out there. Don't worry, I got you! Number one, the mock mustn't have conflicting textures. Two, the mock must have well-balanced colors. Three, the mock should always be durable or lore so help me people will judge. And four, parts must be well integrated and conforming to the build. With that out of the way, right off the gate, this mock does a great job in implementing smooth base and curved parts to make up the design of the mock. From its usage of the Prydak feet and those Tachydox claws for the beak, it captures the traits of the original Zyglet Kabunner we got during 2007, though more on the, on the beak later. Furthermore, going a little down the body, specifically over to the arm, there is the usage of the Paraka armor. Though it is not conflicting due to the ridges uh, matching with the Hordika chest and the top section of the beak, and its ridges, pretty much the whole thing does complement each other in a flattering way. And the color scheme is well done, with dark green as the primary, with sand green as the secondary, and silver for the little highlights. But Tributron, you may ask, you forgot there is black in this overall build as well. And you will be right, since he utilized the MBBS of which I built a few weeks back by the time of this video. So due to him using the MBBS, the mock already is very sturdy and I can confirm since I made the torso. However, not to the builder's discredit but rather mine, that torso can only be made in only a small amount of color variations. So utilizing it in dark green and sand green build can only go so far, but the plus side is that nothing jets out due to the build except for the beak. See, beaks usually conform to a point at the end, though the OG Zyglak used ball jointed pelvis to pull it off, it did well on that department, yet the end of the beak is wide open. But it overly, but it's overly minor and doesn't affect the whole look of the figure so much. All in all, I give this mock with the usage of the modular binocle building system a eight out of ten. Ten being absolute best, of course. I will give it more if that beak was just at the right angles. Plus, even more if it had more visible eyes. I was really close to giving it a 10 out of 10, but you know what is 10 out of 10? His mocks on Insta! So get on over there and check out some of his bonks. Anyways, this will be all for this video, so if you did enjoy, be sure to tap that like button, and hey, if you want to see more content just like this, subscribe and follow me on everywhere on social media in the links down below in the description and yes i am everywhere but deviantart or twitter see you all next time bye guys